we're going into the park. It's like 8.30. It's the required permit to get in between nine and two and we're getting in at 8.30. So we just got to show our pass and the ID and smooth sailing. We're heading up Trail Ridge Road today. It's only like 26 miles, but they say, or is it 45 miles? What does it say? Oh no, I'm sorry. It's 45 miles, but they say it's going to take about two hours because you're probably going to stop. There's things to see along the way. I downloaded the app. I got it offline so I can see it without internet connection. And there's a little trail map here of Trail Ridge Road. You can see where we are going along here and then it'll tell us the different attractions, different things to see along the way and then we can just clip it and then open it up there and it'll give us all the information. So we're gonna do a quick run through Timber Creek Campground and this is in the National Park. We actually looked at staying here, but no vehicles over 30 feet. And technically our vehicle is 29 feet, but then with everything, it's like 35. Very nice campground, you guys. Very nice. So we stopped at that overlook. That was gorgeous. Saw the mountain range, the never summer mountain range, the volcanic mountain range, the only one in the Rockies. And then we're heading now to Milner Pass and it's gonna be on the uh, Continental Divide. We did just read that the Trail Ridge Road, so it's called Highway 30, is the highest continuously paved road in North America and it crests at 12,183 feet. That's where we're headed. And I think that's the Alpine uh, Visitor Center is up there and it's considered the highest elevation visitor center in the national park system and it's at 11,796 feet. But I don't think it's open. What? Yeah, it says it's closed today. It's still closed for the season. Well, that's sad. So we're at Milner Pass. We're gonna go see the Continental Divide sign before all the crowds come. 10,759, the Great Divide separates drainage to the Atlantic from the Pacific. Traverses America from Alaska to Cape Horn. I don't even know where Cape Horn is, babe. They have a bathroom up here. Woohoo! Just so you know, we got Molly, but we're keeping her in the parking lots. Not taking her on any trails. We stopped real quick. Look how much snow. Oh my gosh. And look how fun this is. These are actual like trees. That's their, I guess how they tell where the end of the road is, how they could, where they to plow to. And then, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. can see but this is where we're at medicine bow curve and then you can see cars way off in the distance we're heading that direction we're heading up so tip definitely bring binoculars if not get a scope or if you have a you know awesome lens bring that too look at the size of that lens over there holy toledo his lens is incredible that's the dream. That's the dream someday. Okay, we were just having the discussion about whether or not we would pull the trailer over this. Holy smokes. Stan's having a little anxiousness, huh? I'm, I'm not anxious right, right now, but I'm just thinking about a trailer. But I'm saying this right here is sketchier than the Million Dollar Highway. Hands down. I was reading you can pull your trailer over this, Highway 34, but I don't know if you're going to want to do that. Not if you're afraid of heights, like our friends Deb and Joel are chasing our sunshine. I'm going to say don't do this one. Man, let's go look at this view. This is beautiful. Mount Julian, 12.9, and I think that's the highest one. There. All right, 
right, here's another tip. Dress warmly. It is so cold. Ooh, how's this making you feel? Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my I have not seen one RV up this road. So we were thinking about doing it. That's why we were researching it, thinking about coming from sitting on the west side then heading over to the east side and just coming up over this way but we decided we just stayed the full week as you know at the west side oh, okay oh, oh, look. oh, oh my hole. gosh way to go dude okay maybe coming from that okay. way okay take a look at this oh okay, that's freaking me out So what about coming from the east side to the west side? I think that's easy. That's that would not, be better, huh? Yeah, I, I think coming from the west to Estes, did I say that right? I think it's Estes Park. Estes, Estes Park. Uh, that would be a little scary. You're just going to have to hug that, hug that <laughs> yellow line. Yeah. Woo, so gorgeous though. <sighs> well, and another thing, if you're going to do this is, and you bring your trailer, you're you're not going to be stopping. You're not going to be able to stop and see things. So There's not a whole lot of mm -hmm. RV parking. No. So. Is this something you want yeah, me to stop Yeah, well, at? I think we should. But see the lava cliffs. But yeah, you, you're going to want to do this. You're going to want to take your time. You're going to want to stop at all the overlooks. So definitely just take a day and do this. Look what we've spotted. Wow. Okay, he's doing it. He's doing it. Yeah. But he is coming from the east to the west, so that might be the way to do it. Our next stop is going to be called Rock Cut, and it's going to be 12,110 feet, and it's called the Roof of the Rockies. It says the weather can be very severe up there in the winter, and it, can, it remains below freezing all winter long, and the wind speeds could be 150 miles an hour. So not this, but, I want to but be. this road is not open in the winter. Correct. So Correct. There's no way to even get up here. I don't even know when they when they open it. I don't know, and we're gonna find that out. We got a spot, yay, this is a very popular place apparently. And not too, not too cold right here. No, it's strange, huh? Not too cold. Look at this. Wow. I'm gonna go for a little walk. I guess I should have put my tennis shoes on. I'm acting like it's summertime. Trail Ridge Road was constructed from 1929 to 1933, opened up the Alpine Tundra world to motorists. Thin. Am I imagining this? No, it's very thin. The air is thin. <laughs> well, it said 12,000 something. We're really, whew, it's high. There's nice little signs along the way. And this one says, rivers of ice, a thousand feet deep, once filled Forest Canyon to your right. Glaciers ripped away the rock, widening the valley. But we're still climbing. I look like I'm, just for the beach. So not prepared. I think these are built for the snow drifts. Tundra closed beyond this point. The Rockies and these odd formations were born of fire and water. The dark colored schist was originally sand, silt, and clay at the bottom of a long departed sea. Mushroom shapes were formed when the granite stems eroded quicker than the schist caps. That is pretty phenomenal. Almost at the top. Oh, you can see the road over there. Oh, crazy. Woo, came a long way. You can stand up there. Holy smacks. What'd you see up there? Well, there's like, oh, you'd almost think like it's just like a sundial, but oh. it, it's a plaque that shows your elevation and tells you that you're at the top of the, 
What is this place called? What is it called? Trail Ridge? Trail Ridge Road. Trail Ridge Road. This is Rock Cut or something? At t you're at 12,304 feet. Woo. I was able to take a picture of it up there. It's kind of so hard cool. because everybody's on top of it. But. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. I'm glad you got to go. I'm glad you went though. I wasn't going to until I saw it. Yeah. And then I said, well, gotta take a picture of it. Yeah. Yeah, this was a this was a blonde move and I could say it because I'm blonde, but definitely, well, we didn't know. We just didn't know. Nothing in my app said there was a trail here. I didn't know how far it was. Gotta do it. But you got to do it all yeah. the way to the end yeah but just definitely dress warm and wear good shoes <laughs> don't pull a ronda <laughs> okay, here's where it says tundra communities trail it was 0.5 mile one way beginning elevation is 12,050 you in 260 feet above that so what was it 12 310 It couldn't be done. Can you see him right in there? He's so cute. He's, oh, there he's on the move. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Let me go stand started. You hear of the bison jam? This is the moose jam. I think we started this thing. I think you did. You started it. <laughs> Dan's always causing trouble. So we're on Upper Beaver Meadows Road and a lady we met up at the, one of the curves, I think, not Rainbow Curve, but some other curve, said she actually lives in Estes Park and told us how to pronounce it and said, go down this road. She said, it is a little treacherous, but it's super beautiful. And there's a little hiking trail. And sometimes there's, what she's saying, there's elk and moose down here too, I think. Yeah, so we one already, or the other. We already saw Oh, yeah. A moose on the east side, which is rare. And we saw, we just saw a bunch of bucks, um, some mule deers. It's awesome. So, it's beautiful back here, a little bumpy road. But you, we love finding those back roads where we're away from people. I think what we're going to do is have lunch back here, right? Yeah, we can. Maybe we're eating dinner. I don't know. So we were able, okay, I didn't know. I didn't do a lot of research. You guys know we don't do that. <laughs> Tried to, but just didn't get to it. But we were able to get a timed entry pass into the Bear Lake area. We just got it. It's noon, and we got it for the four to six window slot. I did not know you need a timed entry to go and I think it's 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. so that's like I guess it's a super popular place that's why but we may do this and go into Estes Park and then come back in and then uh, check out the Bear Lake area I'm like I don't know if we'll ever be back so we're just gonna take advantage of it but I just wanted you to know that you do need that pass to get to the Bear Lake area and it's I, I think everybody needs to be prepared I, it seems as though since we've been out national parks are now doing a lot of time entries which they haven't been doing before but remember that if you can go before the time you know you can always get in but you sometimes like in bear loop it's from 5 a.m yeah. to 6 p.m so you got to get there get in there before five o'clock in the morning or after six or guess, after yeah. six so yeah which i didn't realize that they were doing that inside the park we were just so focused on the entry into the park but i didn't know there were sections that also had timed entry so i don't know about other national parks but this one's doing it and i well, think well for instance like adam falls that was time entry also so we didn't know that it, it was time to it was the normal entry time though 
yes. it didn't have its own like but it's like it, it was an offshoot of the national forest yeah you, you wouldn't expect that would have a time entry right but it did picnicking in the back of the truck there's that we're in the upper meadow beaver meadows this picnic area but um there's one table left over there. We could have taken it, but it's kind of butted up next to other people. And with Molly, we just thought we'll just have our own little space back here. But See, this look, is so cool. look a little Molly. She's fine. Hi, Molls. So we brought peanut butter and jelly on our keto bread. Who knew that was a thing? And then, um, so celery. that, so that bread has only got what? One carb. One carb. Yeah. Oh. I got the little jiffy things like that, but yeah, it's it's keto, so it's got a lot of fiber in it. And One gram of net carb, so mm -hmm. that's really good. So we got that, and uh, that's pretty much it. And some almonds. Oh, more most important. <laughs> bacon, bacon, bacon. Dog treats. Malls is having a having a ball. All right, this was a great, great, great picnic spot. And look, there are tables and everybody's cleared out. So maybe come after like uh, one o'clock because it's just cleared out. But look, tables, 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 tables. Fantastic stuff. All right, we just rolled out the east side of Rocky Mountain National Park. Honestly, that, we're, that's making a big decision, but it's like we're going to see SC Spark. And then we'll be back in the park, no problem. Yeah, it's already after, it's like 10 minutes after one. So two o'clock, the timed entry drops for the park. And then if we stick around long enough, we can get over into the Bear Lake one it's between only, four and six. It's only three hours. I know. I gotta get you a coffee. I need a coffee, I need to perk up a little bit. Maybe we'll do an early dinner and then check that out real quick and then head back over the, over the mountain. Over the pass. We're at Estes Park. A lot of traffic. We did read a lot about that, that there was a lot of construction, road construction going on. I also thought that was a, a pretty much a, a fact of a reason why we didn't come this way because yeah. of all the construction, they said, right? Really glad. construction at all. Mm -hmm. Plus it looks like they're done for the day. Now they've got three gates so oh, they're, wow. ex they're expanding is what they're doing. That's nice. Very nice. Hi. We're, we're 15 minutes early. I can't let you in until four okay. on the nose, okay? All right, thank you. Right, thanks to you, you turn for me. Appreciate it. We are back in line. It's 3.57. But quite a few people ahead of us. He made us turn around at what was it? 22? 340? Yeah. He, I don't know. But there's a huge line behind us. So. He's still making people turn. Around. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh my gosh. 
Well, we sure hope this takes two minutes. Uh, we're good now, we're at 359. Yeah, by the time we get up there for sure. So what I was gonna say, I just read that that visitor shuttle, the park, the free shuttle, you can pick that up at the visitor center. I guess it's the park shuttle. The visitor center where we were just at and then you bring it in um, for hiking. I, it seems like it just takes you to the trailhead, drops you off, and I think they run. I don't know how often they run. I want to say I read 20 minutes, but that seems like a lot, doesn't it? So we'll find out and I'll put it down there. But it's an option if you don't want to, uh, you still have to show your card. You have to pay for the entry into the park, but you don't have to bring a car if you don't want. 359. Will we make it? Hello. Hi. Hi. All right. Woohoo. All right. Put this on the driver's side of your windshield for me. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, there's definitely plenty of parking. It might be a good idea coming later like this, huh? Because most people come earlier, I think. So we're gonna hike to Bear Lake. Not Big Bear Lake, just Bear Lake. Gotta, gotta say we did it. Yeah, it's a half a mile round trip. So it should be pretty quick. Malls is pretty pooped out. She's hanging out. Of course, no pets. So we'll go hike this. It says it's easy. It's not even a hike, it's just like a stroll. I told Sam, pull over. It's a gorge. Tell me you got a picture of that. With the food hanging out of his mouth. This is amazing. Stan's a happy man. It's awesome. Man. Uh oh. What? Oh, <laughs> this is what you wanted to see. Man, we got back. Not a moment too soon. Look at this. Okay, good morning. It's our last full day in, well, Granby Ranch, or, or Granby actually, but we're in Granby Ranch. We're actually at the bottom of Granby Ranch Ski Resort, and we're gonna go bike riding. We've got um, passes. We paid $15 each person to go up. We're not gonna be taking the ski lift. It's closed today. We, I don't think we were gonna plan on doing that anyway. We were just gonna go take up a new trail called Nature's Way. And then we're gonna come back down on, what was it called? Fraser Canyon. Fraser Canyon, which we were told. Where the moose attacked. There's a moose that attacks, attacks people on mountain, mountain bikes. bikes. So pray for us because oh my and the, I'm ready. I'm ready for the attack of Stan. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it on camera. <laughs> well, hopefully it's not me. 
Oh my gosh, this is a Don't forget, party. who's ever in the back gets attacked. Well, then you'll be in the back, so. Um, I don't know what to expect. We did a little bit of this at the Porcupine Mountains in uh, Michigan, and um, this is gonna be a new world for us. We just met some kids. They were gonna do the downhill. There's a huge downhill area, but the ski lift's closed, so they had to, they left. But we've got our e-mountain bikes, our pedal assist, so it's just gonna be Nice I don't and know, slow a couple to the top. miles up and three then miles to the top. three miles to the top and then we go across the ridge and then it's a 4.1 mile I think downhill right yep. that we get to do which should be nice and flowy and nothing too crazy super excited to experience this so let's go we got to go up that I think this is where people get married. <laughs> oh, right. oh my goodness. You want to renew our vows? Woo! Look at this, folks. It's Dan and I are going to renew our wedding vows. What are you doing? We're going to renew our vows. <laughs> Do you remember our vows? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> We didn't write our own vows. It's what he said. Hey, I loved you for 30 years. I'm gonna love you for 30 times 30 more. I could. There's days it. I'm ready to push you off this cliff. We're in a wheelchair. <laughs> but there's most of the days I would just stand here right with you for the rest of my life. This is beautiful. Oh. There's water down there. Yeah. This is the most incredible view. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoop. Yeah. So many flowy turns. You got it, girl. Yeah. How'd you get a kiss out of me? <laughs> <laughs> <She's just sending> <laughs> <laughs> she rolls over. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'm telling you to send it, not me. Uh, I'm, I'm too close to you to send it. <laughs> I'll jump over you. <laughs> Stan just asked me the question if I wanted to go again, and I, ugh, So, one, no. an hour and 40 minutes, and the distance was 5.87. Okay. About what I expected, about six, six miles, miles. Three miles up, and then three miles down. Okay, perfect. But that's great. Was it worth the 30 bucks experience? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. The neat thing about this is that it has a screw lock. So you screw it and then you bolt it down. And you just put some pressure on it. See how sturdy it is? Yeah, that's really good. It's, the, it's literally the best, best one on the market, guys. I know, what have we done already? 3,000 miles. My only issue with this is I had to buy an extender because see how it doesn't come out uh, far enough? It comes out right about here. And so when you put your bikes on, it, it, hits, it hits the unit. So that's the only bad thing. But not with the extender. We're good now, right? 
the extender were great. Yeah. So that was it. That's you just popped it in there and off you go. That's it. It's our last evening and we're heading back into the park. Here we go. Not a soul in line right now. Oh, look at that. It's closed. There's a Grand Lake Lodge. We might go just drive through. We're only going to go in maybe, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 miles. I don't, I'm thinking that's as far as it is. But hopefully we'll, we'll uh, finish our trip to the Rockies with a little bit of wildlife sightings. Oh, he's yeah. just laying down. That's, that's the same one. <laughs> so we're FaceTiming a friend right now to show him. He's actually our pastor, one of our pastors. Oh, we've seen so it's many, pastor it's Rick. not even funny. Tell Pastor Rick to wave. <laughs> so that's Pastor Rick, guys. He, they're, they're, he's joining me on this adventure. This <laughs> <laughs> the guy walk in front of the car and stand there and said, don't get so close, she'll kill you. He literally was going to walk like almost up to the thing. That's just, I don't know, people get so excited they just lose their minds. Well, we're going to go check out Grand Lake Lodge, see what that is. But oh my gosh, we truly saw the cutest, cutest, cutest finale. So we were talking to our friend, Pastor Rick, and then we hang up from him and then the baby just appears out of the bushes. What the heck? So cute. Stan, I mean, we could have sat there forever and just watched the baby. Oh, I just kept filming. I didn't care. Oh, so cute. We can say our nuptials again, babe. <laughs> Twice in one day. Do you remember uh, the nuptials? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Are you gonna sing? Sing? No. Wow. Get it right this time? Yes, Glenn. <laughs> She'll start going like a flipper. Watch this. Wait, 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 wait. Glenn, you're not so bad. <laughs> what are you trying to change me, Amy? Where's the voice? <laughs> oh, Amy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, love it. This is awesome. Another place. Somebody's getting married. Here we go. Good morning. It's travel day today. We've been here seven days now. Where's Rhonda? Let's go take a look. Oh, no. Oh, let's put, put this up there like that. Oh, there she is. I'm busy putting my face on, so I don't scare anybody. Uh, she, she's, you know, what, whatever she does. Anyway, we are excited to be getting on the road. 
I got to tell you folks, man, this has been a great seven days. Um, this Sun Outdoor Rocky Mountains has been a beautiful stay. Probably the longest stay we've we've had. This is probably been one of the best RV resorts and it is a resort because it has everything and everything you ever need. Uh, not happy with how the prices of the propane, but <laughs> we pay for what you stay. But um, I gotta say, just loving it, man. And uh, during the week, I would say, come. Come the first week, second week of June. During the week, no one's here. And it's quiet. Get into Rocky Mountain. Not too many people in there. This is about the cleanest cabin we've ever done. <laughs> Almost every day, almost every day, we had thunderstorms in the afternoon, and look how clean this place is. It really makes it nice, no mud, no dirt into the trailer. So definitely think about this place. We are in Granby, Colorado, just about 15 miles from the gate of Rocky Mountain National Park. Uh, put this on your list. You will love it. It's not cheap. Um, we splurged a little bit on this one. Uh, but it was well, well worth it, and I'm absolutely sorry to be leaving today. The